Okay, what we have here today on the bench is <clears throat> a Holocrafters S38D receiver. Now this is a uh, very popular entry-level receiver from the 1950s. Holocrafters must have made hundreds of thousands of these things because they are all over the place at swap meets and flea markets and that kind of thing. They're easily the most uh, likely receiver you are to find. There are several different types of S38 type receivers made. This one here uh, has the slide rule dial here. You know, you can kind of see that the uh, frequency markings are on a nice little linear dial there. Uh, they tried to make this dial big. This was a um, this was a much uh, different uh, redesign of the receiver from earlier models. Now the earlier models look look something like these two where you had a kind of a circular, semi-circular dial on one side, you know, the uh, uh, left side for the main tuning and a smaller semi-circular dial for, uh, on the right side for a uh, band spread. And they uh, the, the, these two receivers here are S38B and S38C. You know, you can kind of see that they differ in the color. But really, the circuitry on all of these, regardless of what the dial looks like, seems to be pretty consistent. Uh, they're, they're all the same. Uh, they all use a five tube circuit and it's basically the very similar to a typical all-american five uh, radio circuit of the time except that they have added coils and a band switch and all that stuff to give it a shortwave capability you know and they also used a few design tricks to to get the uh, radio to play on shortwave a little bit better. Um, this particular model here, you can see I've taken the chassis out of the cabinet. And it, uh, it or normally retailed at the time of the manufacturing uh, for $49.95. Okay, here is what you see underneath uh, the chassis of uh, an S38 series receiver. All of these look approximately the same. The only difference is in the very first model that they made of this, they had an extra tube in it for uh, BFO. They quickly eliminated that and just used a trick to uh, make one of the other tubes a BFO tube uh, by uh, tickle coupling uh, the uh, BFO oscillator to something else. Now, you can see that these, this chassis has the electrolytic cap here. These are almost always bad in these things by this point. Uh, it's a kind of an inexpensive cap. You notice that it's not tied to the chassis. You know, there, there's a strap here that's tied to the chassis, but the body of the cap is not really tied to the chassis. It's not metallic or anything like that, like you would see in a lot of caps. These are all the paper caps. 
not too many of them here. They're they're in places that are kind of semi hard to get at, and you see a lot of uh, uh, mica caps as well, uh, and some variable caps here. It's a very simple circuit. There's no power transformer, so it is a hot chassis set. So in order to uh, safely service it, you will need a isolation transformer. Okay, this is the dial card arrangement on the S38D. Um, it's considerably more elaborate than the dial cord arrangement was on the earlier models that have the semicircular dials. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different pulleys and stuff that are in this to get this uh, to behave the way it, they wanted it to. So you have the pointer down here which is for the band spread. If you look at the dial here You'll see at the bottom there is a band spread 0 to 100 scale that that uh, pointer tracks. So you had to have the, a fairly elaborate pulley arrangement to get this thing to move here. And then on the other side you had to have a fairly elaborate pulley arrangement to get this to work here. Now this is sort of interesting because you can see that as, as I'm turning this, you can see the dial pointer moving, but you also see this is, this is moving, but the actual tuning cap pulley is not. The reason for that is that there's another pulley behind here, right there, that has a string, or it's supposed to have a string there, that goes on this pulley here. Now the pulley is driven by the pulley behind this one. So as a result, when you turn this, it turns both of these, or it's supposed to. Now on this radio, the dial cord is messed up. You can see how it's broken here. That's a serious problem because, strangely enough, you'll be able to turn this and the pointer will move you know, if this set were in the cabinet and with the dial and everything, you would be able to turn this and the pointer would move, but you wouldn't get any uh, change in the station or in the frequency that you're tuning to. So this dial cord is going to have to be replaced. Now, similarly here, you can see, if you look carefully, you can see where the dial cord is frayed there. And it's having trouble going over this pulley so you can turn this and you can see that it's moving but if you if you turn it enough see I'm turning it right now and it's not moving anymore the reason for that is that the this string here see there's a there's an outer jacket to this dial cord, and then there's an, an inner cord to reinforce it inside. This whole cord is supposed to move, but what's really happening is that this sleeve is starting to separate there. You can see how it's frayed. And there's, a, there's just a little bit of a string in there that is causing... It's barely hanging on. It's probably going to break at some point. Plus you see this thing here. You can see how it's kind of all bound up. You know, there, it's, it's, it's just a mess there. So I'm going to have to replace 
the band spread dial cord as well. So two out of the three dial cords that are on this strung on this thing are going to have to be replaced. All right, if you look carefully, you can see that I have now changed the capacitors in the radio. So all of the tubular capacitors here have been changed with new ones. And I've also changed the electrolytic here with modern replacements. Now in the case of the electrolytic, uh, it had um, four different capacitors in one container. So you had two 40 microfarad 200 volt uh, capacitors here on the yellow wires and a 60 microfarad cap on the red wire that was also 200 volts and then you had a cathode bypass cap which is originally on a blue wire here now what I did was I soldered a terminal strip directly to the chassis and soldered another one here to tie all these together in a common uh, ground point which is the black wire now note that the black wire, the, the negative part of the caps, does not go to the chassis. It doesn't go to the chassis. It is isolated from ground. So don't make that mistake. Uh, it, the chassis is not ground for the caps, the electrolytic caps. So anyway... I just took those two terminal strips that I soldered on here and I used them to connect new caps and give it a, a stable point to solder in the new caps which I did and in this case I just used two, two of the normal tube pins that this cap went to to solder here uh, and keep and make this uh, cathode bypass uh, uh, 25 microfarad at, or excuse me, 20 microfarad at 25 volt cap here. Okay, I have the chassis. Now that the chassis has been recapped, I now have it set up uh, for a preliminary test. I haven't changed the dial cords yet, uh, but. I want to make sure that the radio actually works before I do any more work on it. Uh, so what I've done is I've hooked up an antenna right there. And I've hooked the setup to AC power. And I've uh, uh, connected an external speaker here. Normally this radio has an internal speaker on top of the cabinet here, but for this test, you know, I have the external speaker. It's much more convenient when trying to service one of these things than trying to hook the, the internal speaker up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire this up and see if it actually uh, plays and works properly. Okay, so we'll turn the volume up. Wouldn't it be great if you could prime before it happens? With the ring flood like cam, you can. Story bouncing a foul off to the left. Strike one. Yeah. 
That's right. You're supposed to be impressed? Other jewelers must have diamond buyers. Well, actually, Connor, most other jewelers buy their diamonds sight unseen from a list or a computer based only on the diamond's grades. What? When the, uh, the balance of nature products, the fruits and veggies, and the fiber and spice, and so we explain that to them. We also make sure that the customer, in terms of service, coming for quality service, a local quality independent garage. Uh, 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 of climate change. Um, they might have studied the actual physical processes, but you know it's the nature of. High school courses that they Okay, seems to be working pretty good on the AM band. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it to uh, the shortwave band. It's the daylight hour, so it's not going to be super hot, I don't think, on shortwave. But I'll I'll turn it to the 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 band three, which is uh, probably the most likely band to get something on shortwave at this time of day. number stations there. Okay, well, it's it's working. Seems to be working fairly well on AM and shortwave, so we can proceed with the dial cord stringing. All right, I have finished um, redoing the dial cord, replacing it for the main tuning assembly, and. I downloaded a diagram of the assembly of this dial string here. Uh, if you follow the letters, it's kind of interesting how they did this. You follow the letters in sequence to figure out how the dial cord is supposed to be strung. 
Uh, if you follow that, you'll do fine. You know, notice the positions, the starting positions of this and this. Okay, so that's what I did. I, I, uh, I followed the directions uh, indicated in in that diagram there to string the dial cord, and uh, the stuff that I use for a dial cord is this. This is a, a fishing line that's a 65 pound test line. Uh, it's called Spectra Power Pro. I picked this up at a local Kmart store. I suspect that uh, a pre any pretty good sporting goods store would have it. Um, it's uh, what they refer to as microfilament fishing line. And here's what it looks like. I'll try to give you an idea of what it looks like when you... Uh, it's quite a bit thinner than normal dial cord, but it works great. There's no stretch. Uh, it's got good grip around the pulleys. It's it's good stuff. Anyway, um, I replaced the dial cord here and wrapped it around the pulleys like the, the diagram said, and wrapped it around this pulley like the diagram said, and attached the spring. Now it's important to note that uh, this spring back here does not tie to the dial cord. What it does instead is it just simply attaches, the, the hook attaches to the dial cord, but it do, there's not two tied ends to it like there is with many of these things. Uh, it just attaches to it to tension it and it's one continuous string from this point to this point uh, uh, wrapped around all the pulleys and stuff okay anyway now when when I turn the tuning you remember the last time we did this 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 thing did not turn because there was a dial cord broken between that pulley and that this thing. So we'll turn it this time. And lo and behold, it turns just fine. Does a very nice job of turning. You see that the pointer is moving, which it did before, but uh, the this tuning capacitor pulley is actually moving now, which is exactly what we want it to do. You can turn it back, and it moves back. So that dial cord, you know, there's no slip or anything. It works just fine. Okay. Now the next thing we have to do is replace this thing, which, uh, this dial cord, which attaches to this pulley here, which is the uh, band spread pulley. Now one strange trick that I've found uh, when restringing these dial cords is to tie the end of the new dial cord to the to the cutoff end of the old dial cord where you have a, a dial cord going through a pulley like this. Um, now what you do afterwards is you start you grab a hold of it here and you start trying to pull it through hold on here this is gonna work okay what this does took a bit of fiddling there but what this does is it ensures that the cord 
that gets pulled through there, the new cord, has gets wrapped around the pulley just like the old cord did and it gets wrapped around the pulley with the same number of turns that the old cord did without having to count the turns or do any of that stuff. That's This is very handy because you if if your pulley is in an awkward place this one isn't too bad but if your pulley is in an awkward place this this will save a lot of hassle trying to get the correct number of turns around the pulley. Okay, I finished restringing the uh, band spread dial cord. But before I show you that, I want to show you just how messed up the original dial cord was. This stuff was shredded. It's amazing. It was actually uh, moving the band spread dial. Uh, at least part of the way down the uh, the track there, but uh, yeah, it, look at that. It was it was just binding, and part of this stuff was getting in the pulley and just shredding. It was bad, very bad. All right, I finished uh, putting together the uh, dial cord string, you know, restringing it for the band spread control. And I'm turning it here, and as you can see, it's moving quite nicely. No problem there. And it moves very nicely in both directions, one end to the other. There you go. Now I just got to put the dial back on, and we'll give it give the dial a spin with the uh, with the the dial reinstalled. All right, this is the radio with the dial back on. Okay, as you can see, there's all sorts of different countries listed on the dial here. Um, on the earlier S38 models, it seemed to be more amateur radio oriented with a very, uh, you know, more of a, uh, just a, a straight frequency readout on the dial. Uh, this one, it seems to be more geared towards making this more of an entertainment radio with, a, with short wave bands on it. Okay, so... I've got the I've got the dial back on. You can see the chassis here. Uh, same chassis as before, <laughs> obviously, but it now has the dial back on. So what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to turn it on, and we're just going to take a quick spin through the dial. Solar once. Call 844 own solar. That's 844 own solar. Or visit any main. Should there be, it might be warranted if you're saying it's that high and it's that likely that the Cavaliers will go to. They don't get back to the NBA final. They are going to assess everything. Father. Breaking news as it happens. Eight on morning news every 30 minutes. Weekdays 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Only on News Talk 720 KDWN. We depend on your sick people. History is human. Um, Jefferson said, well, in the course of human events, the operative word there is human. And so if you want to understand... Things done in the body according to what he has done. Whether good or bad. 
Starting the season two and eight, Nelson Cruz with his eighth career walk-off hit, eight seven winners. Chills up to twelve and a half ounces of coffee at once without any delusion. Safe control. I like when she can travel the world and tell me about things. I don't know why they've hidden her somewhere. Well, let's go to Nicholas in San Francisco. You have a comment. Speak freely, Nicholas. Yes. Help them if they're in hell. Tim's don't help. Them. Even purgatory. The whole thing. With the Father, Jesus Christ. He says. So perhaps what you were picking up on was. A Two promising young hitters to go along with some experienced guys like Chase Hudley and Ronald Torres, big hit. So it seems that the Yankees are doing everything. They didn't have to use their biggest gun out of the bullpen or all this. Uh, a swim coach or a triathlon coach or a sports nutritionist. Love to be a great piece. It's not just going to be for anybody. <laughs> okay, so now I got a long antenna on this. It's only a five tube set with no RF stage. I've got a long antenna on this, probably 70, 80 feet long. Uh, and also, we're in nighttime, so the ionospheric skip from on the AM band is notable. So you're getting pretty good reception there. Lots of stations. Radio seems to be doing pretty well. Now I'll turn it over to the major shortwave bands. Uh, this will be band number three because that's where most of the stuff is at this time of night. So I'll just turn it over Turn it over to around 40 meet or 49 meters. Okay, we'll turn it to the other end of the band there. know your sins and cleanse you, and you can work. Para analizar las ideas del líder de la oposición cubana, para los tiempos actuales, Fernando 
Martínez, intelectual, como prensa nacional de
to hear from you. Why not visit our webpage and get a Scott at WRMI.net. This is WRMI, broadcasting your band on 9395 Killers. Okay, boy, that, that's actually a very respectable performer considering how cheap this set is. I mean, it's only a five-tube set. Uh, it's basically a AA5 that um, has been uh, set up to have additional coils so it can get to higher frequencies in the short wave band. Uh, sounds pretty good with a long antenna. So I'm quite happy with the way this has turned out so far. Um, now I, all I have to do really is put it back in the cabinet and for now I'll consider this one done because it's uh, uh, there's I can't really paint the cabinet this is the cabinet here. It's a little beat up, you can see. But uh, I can't really do anything with that until the weather around here gets better. Uh, I've got the radio back in the cabinet now. Uh, you can see the cabinet looks kind of like crap. It's, you know, it's got some rust spots and whatnot. Uh, probably when this gets closer to summer I'll probably try to uh, repaint the cabinet and see if I can make this thing look a little bit more presentable but it is complete um, okay now that I got it back in the cabinet we'll give it one final test and uh, call it a day Uh, yeah, so check iCloud make sure you got everything still. Do you have a computer you can log into it from? I do. I have an old PC that I yeah. uh, Show the race from last year tricks all of us rednecks to think that it's the race that's happening this year. But no, they, <laughs> they they'll show a movie. movie. You know, they should just no, know. they don't do that. They, they stay and interview every single driver that was there and on. Usually they end up interviewing maybe even the, the driver of their RV. But anyway, yeah. See you. Switch with him, he will walk over. Like he will take control of that situation and kind of do what he thinks is right. And it, it requires a coach who knows as much. The choice is, and I hope very much the Democratic candidate there wins. Senator, I want to pick up on that point about the grassroots that you made. You have an email list of all those grassroots voters you contacted who donated to you. Will you be handing that list over to the Democratic Party to help it with its grassroots outreach? Well, right now, right now, John, our focus is building up a strong progressive movement in this country. And I think the people... Go to DealDash.com for crazy savings and a whole lot of... We can. And bringing our people together... Deal a minute game of whack-a-mole. Hundreds of deals up to 99% off retail. Your friends will think you won the lottery. Get your first bid pack with a 100% satisfaction deal. This final week, she says she's moving ahead and when they're going to do arrest her. I think, Berkeley, you have a big, big, big slab of uh, pie in your face because you should be an example of freedom of speech, even though I cannot stand Ann Coulter. And I want to get to a couple... Hillsdale College character and elevates civic to find out how you can take their free online courses wow. enjoy a quote i had nothing to do with that that's not how you do that you don't kill off a lot of people so we're, we're trying to bring out this
to this world, and we all can be distracted of this world, let's just be respectful, let's be citizen of the world, let's all embrace nature, let's all be admirative of nature, let's all be in awe of nature, because nature duration, and let's keep it aside. Well, you make... She deserves hundred dollars. First rub. I bolt. You're gonna make it. a way that you will care more about being here and protecting and participating and being a part of than somebody who thinks they're so puffed up with knowledge that uh, that is for years, they have been one of the most popular bands in Cuba, especially among young people who want to question the world around them, which is why they are so popular in college students. On their albums, they go from love to social realities to philosophic questions, always using smart lyrics and melodies. Some like them better in one of these specific areas, others like them as a whole. Not Okay, that seems to work rather good. It's it's a pretty decent little radio, especially for uh, considering that it's only got five tubes and it's uh, the most uh, basic set that Holocrafters uh, put out that year. Um, 
Uh, it's, it, you should point out that I've got probably a 70 foot antenna on this so you, you if you really want decent performance out of one of these things you have to have a pretty long antenna hooked up to it a decent one but uh anyway for for what it is it's it's very good holocrafters did quite a bit of engineering to squeeze as much performance out of one of these things as they could and I think that served them well uh, later on uh, because the if somebody got turned on to shortwave listening with one of these, uh, they're probably, and they like the performance of this, they're probably going to go uh, to Holocrafters again for um, the more uh, uh, better radio later on um, but anyway uh, this was a pretty interesting project uh, it had uh, dial cords that were broken and had to change some caps and that was about it and it works fine so I'm happy